Hello beautiful friends and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be introducing yet another project um, and I'm really excited about this one. This is a little bit different um, but I think it will be fun. So I am, I've been doing Project Pan just for a couple months now. I'm still really new to it. I started back in April and I've just been getting so excited about panning all of my beauty products that I thought that it would be fun to start panning other parts of my life. <laughs> so um, today I'm going to introduce to you the project Pan My Life. And this is all about panning things that are non-beauty related. And I use the term panning loosely because it's really just finishing or meeting goals for things. Um, so the goal of this project is to pick a handful of non-beauty items in your home and uh, try to focus on them during the month and either finish them or meet a goal on them. So I'm not particular about how many or you know what kinds of items they are. I want this project to work for me and I want this project to work for you. So the rules are very loose on this one um, and if you would love to join, if you would like to join, I would love to have you. I would be honored for you to join this project with me. So I have chosen, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items, and they are a mix of some kitchen things, some arts and crafts things, and some entertainment. So um, I will start, let's see here, I will start with a book. Um, so I am choosing the book War Storm. Um, this is the final book in the Red Queen series, which is excellent. Um, and I've just had it on my Kindle for a really long time, and I'm like 40% through it, and I just want to finish it. <laughs> so I'm setting that as my goal this month. I'm going to focus on this book and get it finished. Uh, next step, I will do a couple kitchen items, and then we'll finish with arts and crafts. Um, so the first thing I'm... I really want to start like digging in to some of my older pantry items um, and really get them out. So I'm going to start with this Tivana Royal English Breakfast Tea. It's a black tea. I'm not really a tea drinker. I am a big coffee fan. I have a coffee cup on my shirt today. <laughs> I love coffee. I drink coffee. I usually have like one big cup of coffee every morning. Um, but lately I've just been thinking more about switching it up with some tea every once in a while. And so, um, so I'm gonna give this one a shot. We've got, there's not that much left in it. Um, it's just down to the end here. Um, I weighed it, there is 20 grams left of tea in here. So let's see if I can't finish that up this month. Um, and then the other pantry item is a bag of red lentils. <laughs> um, and I just, I never think to use lentils, but I have a couple bags of them. So, uh, so I'm going to put this front and center this month and see if I can't get through this bag of red lentils. All right. On to arts and crafts. I have a lot of different hobbies and crafty related things that I like to do. So um, so sometimes I get really excited about new projects and just completely stop working on the things that I have been working on and I bounce and I tend to bounce between different types of crafting. So um, so I'm hoping that this can kind of help me to focus a little bit more and calm my brain and bring it in and narrow my focus a little bit so that I can get through some of my tons and tons and tons of craft supplies. I've got a, I've got a room dedicated in our house to, or that has been dedicated to like crafting and working for me. And um, now that my kiddo is getting older, I'm hoping to turn it into a combined craft room and playroom, eventually homeschool room. So I'm trying to work through a lot of the stuff that I have bought and stocked up on and I'm kind of wanting to treat my craft supply 
supply <laughs> stash in the same way that I treat my collection of makeup in the fact that I have too much, I don't need to be buying more, and I need to use and love the things that I've already chosen to bring into my home. So, um, so I'm really hoping that this project will help particularly in that area. So I've got three, four, um, two of them go together uh, items. Um, yeah, and here they are. So I bought this bag of these wax in hopes of, or in plans of making some, uh, some wax wraps. I've been on a casual journey to reduce the amount of trash that I make. And so, um, so I got a couple, I got three little beeswax wraps and I've been using them and I really like them and they're quite easy to make. So, um, so I, I'm gonna use, I got these and they've just been sitting for months. I think I got them last fall and I still have not done it. It's a really easy project and I just need to do it. And it will help me get down my fabric stash, which is a whole other issue. Um, so here it is, it is unopened. It is 16 ounces of beeswax and I'm hoping that I can at least make one round of wax wraps. Next is the two items that go together and that is my sketchbook and a collection of colored pencils. Um, these are just really pretty, <laughs> well-designed colored pencils and I really like them and I, instead of hoarding them on my desk as a piece of art, I would actually like to use them. Um, and I have been, I am by no means an artist. Um, I have very casually enjoyed drawing throughout my life, but I have never sat down and honed the skill. And that is what I'm trying to do right now. So, um, so I have my sketchbook and I won't show you the pages that I've drawn on, but it's just like big pages. Um, I just found this at Marshall's. It was really cheap, but, uh, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to work the skill. Basically. I'm not, I don't have any goals for creating an artistic talent. I just, um, I know that drawing is really helpful in a lot of the other activities that I do. And I just sometimes need a little bit of encouragement to dig in and focus on things that I am not particularly good at and just hone that skill. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm hoping to get some good use out of both of these this month. Um, the colored pencils are basically brand new except for uh, the blue and purple, which I have been using this week and have sharpened, I think once. <laughs> but um, so anyway, so I'm hoping that these will be a little bit lower next month because I will have used them. So we'll see about that. And then the final thing is a work in progress that I just really need to finish. And that is a crochet project. I have been crocheting, gosh, for a very, very long time, probably 15 years, something like that. Um, and I almost always crochet all winter and then stop <laughs> for the summer. And um, usually it's like I crochet a bunch of Christmas presents and then I'm super burnt out after Christmas happens and stop until the fall. But I really love crochet and I would love to give myself some projects to do throughout the year um, because not everything has to be big heavy blankets. This one is. But I'm hoping to kind of finish some projects and reinstate my love for crochet and then move on to some more summer appropriate crochet projects because it's hot. Um, but that being said, I have a big heavy blanket and um, and I just really need to finish it. It is it is this black and white and gray gingham blanket um, and it's yay big and it's almost done and I just need to put a border on it or finish putting the border on it. I'm gonna do a border about 
yay big. And then weave in all the ends and then I will be done. So um, yeah, it's a gift for a friend, for a friend's baby and she had her baby a long time ago. <laughs> so it may be maybe a first birthday gift, but, um, but anyway, I'm just, I'm hoping that I can get that finished. So those are the items that I am focusing on this month. Um, I think this is gonna be a fun project and I'm hoping that it will help me to get my life a little bit more in gear and organized. So I would love for you to join me on this project if this sounds fun to you. And if you do, please comment below and tell me and um, feel free to, to tag me in an Instagram post or uh, I don't know, send me your video or tell me that you've done it so that I can go watch it and support you. Um, thank you so much for watching and for stopping by my little corner of the internet. Have a great day. Bye.